All right, it is a chilly morning here in South Louisiana. We had a September cool front come through. Really been a nice couple of days. But Jeff Brule and I are on Bayou Liberty. Jeff's been fishing this area for years in the month of September. When it's teal season, this area gets full of speckled trout. But we're here early, obviously. The sun's not even up yet. So we're gonna try and catch a few bass first. And then we'll be targeting some specks, maybe some reds as well, we'll see. All right, I'm not sure how well you can see. That's the sun coming up over there. I'm starting with basically a whopper plopper knockoff. This one's made by Savage Gear. Jeff, sounds like you throwing a buzz bait? I'm throwing a chopo. Oh, a chopo, okay. Chopo. All right, real similar bait. It's like the tide's rising. Ooh, there's one. Oh, look like a gar, huh? Look like a gar. There's a little hit. <laughs> I definitely find the trolling motor works better when you put it in the water. By and large. Oh, look at the shrimp. Did he get it? He got it. Look at the bass. Yeah, look at the shrimp. Get him, Jeff. There we go. I tell you what, that was a big shrimp. That's a big ass shrimp. That was something that died. That was something that died. I'm just glad it's fall, man. I hate summer. Ooh. Oh, sh bro. I think it was a red. Yeah, he smoked it. Is it a red or a flounder? What you got, man? Trout? There we go. That's the start. <laughs> Quick Bye-bye, trout. Did he thump it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little speckled trout. Tap, you know, just a little scary. Yep. <laughs> getting smaller, Jeff. Yeah, getting smaller. <laughs> so Jeff and I passed right through here and saw in the depth finder just a ton of activity. He's made a couple of casts in there after I broke off. Got a couple of trout. Not big. You typically don't catch real big trout in here. And I've often, ooh, smacked it. I've often speculated whether these are trout that, that move in or trout that just spent the summer here. And I think it's probably trout that spent the summer here because they're, they're definitely on the small side. They just didn't move out in the spring. They weren't sexually mature, but now they're big enough to hit these baits and some of them are big enough to harvest. But I think you do have some fish that move in from outside. You, you've caught like some three pounders in here, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. And then when you get to the, maybe a little bit in the next month or so, you go to the shoreline. Yeah. And sometimes you can catch some five pounds out there. On, on mirrored ends, huh? Yeah, there, there we go. Good. Get him, Jeff. You get above that grass like mirrored ends and top water baits and sometimes some spoons that just fish the, uh, the holidays in the grass. And right. You catch Nice fish in the fall. Right. There he is. That's a keeper. Might be a bass. No, it's a trout. It's a good trout. It's a team maker. I think. <laughs> Yeah, he's 12, wouldn't you agree? I think so. Yeah, he's definitely 12. Okay, measurer. Whew, fish is warm relative yeah. to the air. I think we're gonna have to use this today. Yeah, well, yeah sometimes you come in here, that's what you catch, is it not? Hell, I don't care. I'm happy to catch some speckled trout. Ah, oh, Jeff, he's 13, man. I love these freshwater trout. They look so black. It's beautiful fish.
Got to be twitchy. You got to hit him quick. Yeah. He was on the bottom. There he is. Another keeper. Oh, I love it. I love these little trout. So good to eat. Another 13 inch or so. Quarter. You almost have to set the hook on a on a rumor of a bite. If you wait until you really feel that hard tap, it's too late. Oh, I love this style of fishing. Deep jigging for trout. I love it. Get him, Jeff. Get him, Jeff. Hey. He's got some shoulders. Yeah, that's a keeper. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, that's what we got. And they'll be different every year. Some years you come, they all 12, 13 inches. Next year you come in here, they might be 14, 15 inches. The class yeah. that you have that you, that you find in here. They're usually here from about September to November. And you throw on shrimp creole, looks like. Yeah, huh? I got that. Probably. Shrimp creole matrix. I'm throwing holy jolly. This water's beautiful in here. It's tannic, fresh water. Almost 14 inches. Wow. There we go. Get him, Jeff. Way over there. And come up. Whitey. I'll take him. I'll take him. Oh man, look at him. That'd be a decent trout. Oh yeah, that's a good trout. Yeah. He said, I made the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I made a change to a moonrise ghost minnow. If you saw my Texas videos that I published last week, caught a bunch of fish on this thing. Let's see how it works. Here in South Louisiana, I bet pretty well. We're seeing tons and tons of shad in this bayou. Not terribly big. And I'm sure that's what those fish are feeding on. 11 and a half feet. There he is. It's a good trout. Is that a whitey? That's a big whitey. Big old whitey. Big whitey. I'm gonna eat you, boy. It's September and we're catching fish. I'll take it. In a beautiful morning, beautiful morning. Not many September mornings are nicer than this one. Mid 60s, northeast breeze of maybe, I don't know, eight, six. Beautiful day. There he is. Missed it the first time, it fell back down, and then he smoked it. Not a big fish though. I think it's a whitey. Whitey indeed. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> That's what I grew up catching, man. Grew up catching white trout. Yeah. Catch, catch croakers and white trucks. Yep. Oh, that was a good hit. Come on, baby, come on up. Fighting like a whitey. Unfortunately for you, you're big enough. Yeah. You're going home, buddy. Not to your home, to my home. I don't mind catching these guys at all. A lot of people don't like white trout because they're super soft, a little bit harder to clean, but man, I love them. They're so tasty. There he is. Dude, look at that. Wow. The bait was lodged in his mouth. I don't think he's even hooked. Look, <laughs> look, look. Yeah. <laughs> It is. It's called crossways. <laughs> yep. Look what this fish did. I don't think. I don't think he's even hooked. He just got that bait lodged in there. It'll be fun to get out. 
these guys by the millions got enough fish I'm gonna let this guy go straight down speck trout first max bolt with a Berkeley rattle shrimp There he is. You got the bass. Monster. Big bass on a ghost minnow. So long, sucker. Man, what a great day with a good friend. Jeff has been coming down to this Bayou Liberty area for decades, and it very seldom disappoints in the month of September. Again, you got to manage your expectations. You're, you're generally not going to catch giant speckled trout. You're gonna catch a mix of specks and white trout, some keepers, some throwbacks, but it's just so much fun to fish and very, very good bass fishing around here. Again, not very big fish, but there's a whole bunch of them. Just so glad it's fall. I mean, it's just such a nice day. Coming out here close to home, spending the morning doing this, can't get enough of it. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Jeff is still at it.